How in the world was our jobs report so strong? This is something that I've been asking myself for quite a while because I'm trying to figure out why job reports show so strong when we know for sure that it's not. So I looked up the definition or how they come up with these job report numbers and it says anyone on payroll. So like anyone on payroll, new jobs, people get new jobs, even part-time jobs. So then I look at, oh, wow, this is the first time that we've reached a trillion dollars in credit card debt. People are having a tough time paying for gas, paying for food. We hear all over the country that the cost of living is up so high based on what happened with inflation and just everything in general that's going on. So I started thinking maybe there's a lot of people getting a second job going on part time. I'm betting that those numbers, the new jobs that are created are some of those part time jobs that people are getting as supplemental income. And then you also got the families where there's one person earning the other one staying home with the kids that person staying home with the kids might have to start working part-time as well. With student loans about to kick back in, credit card debt at its highest, job reports showing going up, probably part-time jobs people are picking up that they didn't have before. As we head into a recession, the one thing that happens historically is interest rates drop. So if interest rates drop for homes and you have a solid job now, it may not be a terrible idea to get into the housing market. And then when those rates drop, you can take advantage of the refi. I know it sounds cliche, but it's really a pretty good idea. The housing market is one market that stays strong during recessions.